Hey everybody, it's me Mitchell from transformationpreneur.com. I'm here to talk about the 60th Eurovision Song Contest 2015 Vienna Reviews. I'm also making money online and if you want to know how to make money online then go to transformationpreneur.com and I'll show you all the details. And in this video I am talking about the entry for Russia. You won't be lonely The song for Russia is called A Million Voices and it's by Polina Gagarina. I don't want to tell, talk too much about it because I don't want to get politics involved with Eurovision. But sometimes it is forced to be spoken about, which is really kind of annoying because the whole point of Eurovision is world peace, really. That's why it was created. It was created post-World War II. Countries were completely deflated and they wanted a competition for everyone to be able to combine and get together. This was a really effective thing. Even before the United Nations came, really got into play, Eurovision was doing the job of bringing peace to Europe. So that's why I don't like to talk about politics and countries do get voted due to, you know, block voting and things like that. But... At the end of the day, it's a songwriting competition about peace. I'll just say that it's a little bit difficult because Russia has for the past three years consecutively sung songs very kind of fluffy and light about peace and working together for peace. What if we Clearly there's a lot going on. A country that is very successful with a good reputation in Eurovision that loves to participate in Eurovision is not in Eurovision this year. And it's because they have so much going on that they can't participate. They are being annexed by a country that is in Eurovision and is singing a song about peace. By avoiding conflict, they, they have a song of peace. They're throwing in children and old people into the music video to kind of no avoid that that thought so um i kind of feel for ukraine i guess is what i'm saying because ukraine isn't in it and a lot of people i'm taking this from what a lot of people are saying because i'm switzerland here okay so But a lot of people are saying Russia's here gloating in a way. So a lot of people are finding it disrespectful to, to sing a song like that when you're doing quite the opposite politically. But I will say that the participation of people's views are very different. To look at me and match me with the agreements of what's in certain acts in Australia, you know, to kind of compare me to that and say, and for me to sing a song about peace and say, well, why are you singing a song about peace when, you know, you're not letting asylum seekers into the country? These guys do not represent the government. The songwriters don't represent the government that wrote this song. The singer, Polina, does not represent the Russian government. And neither does the network Channel One. Channel One is not owned by the Russian government. Channel One is funding the participation. So unless it's a view of Channel One, then I feel like this argument shouldn't really be used against Russia. Does that make sense? Don't take any of what I said as stuff to heart. Do, do your research, be critical on your own analysis. But I'm just kind of giving you a heads up to why this entry is controversial. I guess to people that think that this song is rubbing in their face and probably are not wanting to uh, like this song and pro-Ukrainian, they're probably like that girl on Bridesmaids when she gets a lemonade. She's like, damn it, it's good because the song is amazing. It's a really good song. The singer is brilliant. She reminds me of Delta Goodrum. For those that know the Australian singer Delta Goodrum, very similar tone in the voice. She's singing these high notes that just sounds like she's just singing from the gut. We will shine. Yeah. 
know, this is the kind of voice that I have. I felt like this song reminded me of something in an opening ceremony for the Olympics. You know, it was just a, a groundbreaking song and suitable for Eurovision. A, a really good Eurovision song. It's such a brilliant ballad. It's very, very progressive. I love the backing singers. A lot of songs are having really good use of backing singers this year, which I like. The backing singers in this are like a wholesome ensemble. You can hear them like kind of chanting. It's gospel-like. You won't be lonely liked the the midway bridge when she's held that high note and it was a great high note which transitioned into the chorus which was like a stomp and chant version of the chorus which I thought was brilliant in terms of dynamics it, it's a great layer uh, if you look at Georgia and I was saying what what should have they done differently stuff like that is what they should have done and Russia just has it laid out brilliant song formatting go writers the sing it out bit I really like Sing it out, how she's saying sing it out. Sing it out, sing it out, oh, sing it out, sing it out, oh. The last 10 seconds, I mean, it was written brilliantly. I got like chills. Orchestration was just magical in that in the whole song, but the last 10 seconds oh magical this song is really good Don't judge everything politically think critically of how you think critically, but I'm not telling you what to do But oh, I'm trying so hard I know I'm gonna offend a whole heap of people after this even though I tried so hard not to any hoozles That is my entry review for Russia Check out my other reviews and also go to transformationpreneur.com to work out how to make money online. Until then, bonsoir Europe. Bye.